Now, vibrato is one of the most expressive tools that we can have as a string instrumentalist. And in the elegy, it is probably one of the most important roles in conveying the emotion of the piece. But what kind of vibrato do we use here? Again, vibrato is a very personal thing. You can play this very with, you can narrow it down, it depends how you feel the music. So for instance, as in the beginning of the course, I saw this opening as a lament, I would rather uh, want uh, a with slow vibrato in order to feel that cry, because this is a cry. You just lost someone dear, so you want something like this. And So you see, I'm trembling and oh, yeah, I'm instead of, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, but I would not prefer to play fast, narrow. I mean, I don't do it well, maybe, you know, other chats, they play it like this and they play it amazingly. But I think here in this beginning, it should be more slow vibrato. So, Play around with different vibratos and find the one that suits your soul better. But in contrast, for the more uh, dramatic sections, there perhaps, yes, there you want to use this fast and tense uh, vibrato. Like uh, we have... Uh... So see how the vibrato is different there. So this creates this tension, this, you know, uh, death is coming to get me. So, and you're fighting against it. So here also with the vibrato, you want to fight it. So this is very contrasting. So in the beginning, this slow, grieving, sorrowful vibrato, and then in the tense moment, they're full of electricity. A good exercise, you know, to develop the different vibratos is you can just play again on slow notes. You start with a slow vibrato and then bit by bit you fasten it up as you would go into the dramatic conclusions. So let's take again the first note, we start slowly, a couple of times, then bit by bit fasten up and narrow it. You can play along with this exercise. It's very important that you try this on one note, on different fingers, so that you're used to it. This is very important. So listen to the difference in the emotional quality between the two types of vibrato. Both vibratos have their place in the elegy, and it's up to you to decide where to place each. But if I can give you a pro tip, don't rely only on the vibrato. Make the most beautiful sound that you get can get out of the bow and play it once senza vibrato, so without vibrato, so that you find the nicest sound ever over here. Once you have a great control here in the right arm, then start to add the vibrato and you will see how special those will get. Let me show you just an example, again the beginning. So I'm gonna try to play without any vibrato, which is by the way very challenging and uh, it's also very exposed because we can hear the defects, intonation and so on. But just take a look. So this is the example without a vibrato, but I'm gonna rely completely on my right hand. Um, and so on. Of course, something is missing. That cherry on top of the cake, which is the vibrato. But I could produce a beautiful sound only with the right hand, without vibrato. But now, if we add the vibrato together, then it becomes special. So... Um... So see, I'm in control, because if you rely completely on vibrato, then we get something like this. Um... Like, yes, lots of motion, lots of movement, but something is missing. 
this over here is missing. Again, think like a singer.